Steven, thank you so much for taking the time. How are you doing? I'm great. I'm good. I um the last time I talked to you was in November, shortly before your fight with uh with Brandon Figueroa. What would you say since then have been some of the biggest things that have transpired in your life? My feelings. <laughs> <laughs> as my far mindset. As, mm -hmm. My mindset. Everything's changed with my mindset and me as a person. Yeah. When, when you say that, what, uh, what specifically has changed and what brought about some of those changes? Uh, I'm reaching new levels and new heights in my, in life, not just boxing, but in life that just gave me a different perspective on how I should view things and how I should take more care of myself and do what's best and do what's right for me first and foremost before trying to please others. Is, th is that something where just life experience has taught you that or is it something spiritual emotional or a little bit of all of the above a little bit of all of the above and a lot more of how i'm how, how i fought mm -hmm. yeah i know that um you know in the build up to this fight and i know that you've done it before but training during ramadan um as far as you know staying true to that faith how much how much has your faith guided you throughout this process a lot i mean you have to have faith no matter what so it guided me it guided me a lot i think mm -hmm. I, I think i just i can just say that it guided me a lot when when would you say that have there been i'm assuming that there have been trials and tribulations along the way where maybe you've questioned things um, would you say that your faith is one of the things that's that's kept you focused um, beyond some of the others? I can say that because mm -hmm. I, I have questioned a lot of things, and having faith just takes all the, take all the questions away. Well, here you are. I mean, now you're you're a unified champion. It was a heck of a fight against Brandon Figueroa. When you sit down and you watch it for the first time after having gone through it, okay. what was your reaction to it? I said, oh, this, this, man, I won a lot more rounds than I thought I did. I said, it was a close fight. I said, but it was, I, I definitely won this fight. I said, oh, yeah, I definitely won this fight. I said, I don't know what the fuck they think. They were saying, <laughs> I said, I definitely won this fight. I, and I said, after they go home and watch this fight, if they still think they won, I said, he might got to switch his trainers up. Mm -hmm. If they still think they won after going back and rewatching it and just seeing how, I said, no. Nah. Then I went on, uh, premier boxing champions and i seen like that the score cards they had and i'm sitting there like they even had it the same way kind of i had mm -hmm. when you take a look at that and see that hey wait a second i i actually <laughs> i'm i'm actually further ahead than i even thought i was um how much confidence does that give you going into this fight now a lot because i feel like it was the fans that that made it like that as well the fans kind of twist and turn the narrative along with Figueroa coming screaming the biggest robbery ever in boxing history. Like that's not the biggest robbery, bro. <laughs> it just ain't anything. He is sore loser. How did you, I mean, I know after that, um, you know, it was definitely an entertaining fight. I think the styles complement each other well, which is why so many people enjoyed watching it. You guys both left it all in there. I know that, you know, there was, Oh, maybe there might be a rematch. He was talking about moving up. Was there any serious talks about having a rematch or did it kind of probably fall apart? once probably mm -hmm. once that fell apart probably mm -hmm. once and trying to kind of get that next fight into place kind of the business of boxing did you kind of feel that roman was going to be the guy the next guy up or did you try to see if there was the possibility of kind of getting that undisputed fight first i wanted to undispute it but they said he had already had a fight lined up or something like that some i don't know but I, I another part of me feel like he didn't want to fight me just so yet, mm -hmm. but I wanted to go straight into that fight from that fight. When you hear that, that oh, we've got something lined up, does that tell you okay, they they really are ducking me? And does that make you doubt if that fight does happen in the future? No, I don't doubt it. I feel like it's going to happen now. Mm -hmm. Once we get past June fourth and he get past it, I feel like it's going to happen. I think I was reading back to a comment something that. Danny said within the media um, I think he pretty much admitted that when he was the champion you were kind of calling out his name and he didn't give you the opportunity to fight him and he said he's very thankful that you've given him the opportunity to fight 
Um, what made you decide to give him the opportunity, despite the fact that he didn't kind of pay that back when you were coming up? Because I'm better than him. I'm better than him. And I'm going to show him that I'm better than him in the ring, not just outside the ring, but inside the ring as well. I'm better than him overall. It's interesting. In the times that I've talked to Danny, um, he seems like a pretty quiet guy, you know, pretty down to earth. It seems like he's talking a lot more in anticipation of this fight. Um, what do you think is flipped within him? I don't know, man. I, I think I, I, I do. I feel like it's just me. I feel like I have that within the whole division that makes every, I have that, that aura that makes everybody just want to scream and shout my name in the division. Whoever you name in the division that's, that's top 10, they screaming my name right now. Why? Because I got the division back hot. I got the division back popping. Once I started doing it, and then they see that, oh, we did this division can't make noise. I feel like once I once I opened my mouth about it, it gave them that window of opportunity to also start, you know, let me change it up, switch things up, and let me start saying this, or let me start doing this. As well as this being Daniel Roman's one of his biggest last chance to be back on top. Does that in a way? But kind that's of... another reason why I gave him the I took I, I took the fight too, because he kept screaming, he kept talking, 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 and saying, uh, oh, mandatory, you know, he's ducking me, he's ducking me to set third. And I ain't say nothing. I just made the fight happen. Did that did that surprise you when you saw him talking so much? No, because I don't really I really everybody talk when they want something. <laughs> well said. Yeah, I, I guess that's true. Um <laughs> Wait, the fact that he is doing so much talking, do you think that's so much that he wants it? Or do you, does that tell you maybe that there's a sense of fear there too, that he's got to kind of hype himself up? No, he wants it. He mm -hmm. wants it. I don't, I don't think he got to hype himself up, but I feel like him just being a natural calm person. Mm -hmm. Whoa, whoa. Would just be in my favor. I know that the, the goal for you is undisputed. Do you think that that's possible before the end of 2022, or do you think that it's more likely that we'll see that in 2023? I think it's possible, 2022. If that does happen, if you do become undisputed, um, a lot of people love throwing the, round, you know, the terms around pound for pound, and I've never put much stock into any of that, but do you feel like you deserve more respect in that conversation and that you're not getting it? Yeah, I've been there, but I don't care no more. I don't care about the pound for pound no, no more. Do you feel that maybe some of the reasons why your name gets overlooked is the fact that it's it's the division, the fact that the division, like you said, maybe until you kind of came around, didn't have that kind of pop, that flair, but it could happen. Yeah, now I get a division that flavor, that 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 a taste, and now and and, and me just being and races of fighter of the year and fight of the year with Canelo and. Tyson Fury and Wilder, come on, I, why shouldn't I have been on that? But who cares? It seems interesting that when people kind of finally get that undisputed status, a lot of times they don't necessarily stick around a whole lot. They decide like, okay, I became undisputed. Let me jump up. When you, if you be, oh, if you become undisputed, um, would you stay there for a while, or would you would you say, okay, I've I've kind of climbed that mountain. I'm going to jump up to the next division. I feel I, I probably would jump up to the next division and and do the same thing, mm -hmm. but I don't know as of right now. Everyone's no one can predict the future. No one can you know predict exactly how their career is going to go. Other than becoming undisputed of this division, what would you say your biggest goals left to accomplish in boxing are? Other than that, become undisputed at the next week, class. <laughs> and just keep keep eating them up like Pac-Man, huh? And make money, a lot of money. <laughs> Ideally, how long would you see yourself in this game for? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I'd be tired of boxing. Mm -hmm. Just on, on the aspect of making weed and keep training and training and training. Sometimes, I've been doing this for like 16 years now. I'm an amateur pro. I don't know. I got a lot of I got a lot of I got a lot of mileage left in me though. I got a lot of years still in me. I'm still well, young. As you said, it's a hell of a grind. I mean, I don't think everyone completely understands the work that goes into it. Is it hard? Do you have those moments where you're like, all right, the 
what keeps the fire coming back for it? We used to it. This is this this is our our life. It's a part of our lives. So I feel like it's that urge that when you're not doing it, you just chilling, you just get up, start shadow boxing. Like I'm gonna go to the gym. You get that itch, like it's just like ah, something you gotta do. It's like muscle memory. You gotta do it, as well as the money. The money is good. Well, especially when you keep winning like you do and keep performing like you do. Uh, cool boy, Steph. I think you said it all. Thank you so much for your time and uh, best of luck on uh, June 4th. Uh, thanks. Appreciate you.